brothers and sisters, kings and queens, soldiers and warriors. This is your sister Fire, and I am back with another spiritual warfare video. This video is how to identify the spirit of Cain. How to identify the spirit of Cain, and of course, how to combat it, my brothers and sisters. So we're going to start out by talking about um, who is Cain. Well, it speaks about the story of Cain and Abel in Genesis chapter 4, okay? And Cain um, was Adam and Eve's first son. They had Cain first, and then they had the second son, um, which was Abel, okay? And... Um, what Cain did was God asked uh, Cain and Abel to bring him um, an offering, okay? And so Abel brought um, his firstlings of his flock and the fat, and God was pleased with that offering. However, Cain brought the fruit of the ground to the Lord. And he was not pleased with that offering, okay? And so he rejected it, okay? And so, um, just one moment. I'm just reading a note right here. Okay, <laughs> so because God rejected Cain's uh, offering, Cain became jealous and envious of his brother, Okay, he was very, very upset at his brother because God accepted his brother Abel's offering, but did not accept his. And so um, Cain uh, killed his brother Abel. He turned around and killed his brother Abel in the fields um, because of his jealousy and envy towards him. And so... Um, yeah, the spirit of Cain is uh, uh, another major spirit that is running rampant in the world today, my brothers and sisters, okay? The spirit of, you know, uh, jealousy and envy. Um, and it happens amongst the family, brothers and, and sisters and mothers and daughters and fathers and sons. But it also happens, you know, amongst just common people, you know, let's say um, co-workers at a workplace, okay? So this spirit is uh, running rampant today. And that's why I am here to um, give you all the characteristics of this spirit and then give you the solutions on how to combat it. Uh, Cain was also the first murderer, my brothers and sisters, the first murderer that uh, we read about in the scriptures. Now, some of the characteristics of Cain are someone who is carrying the Cain spirit would be competitiveness. Being competitive is a characteristic of the Cain spirit. Envy. Jealousy. And in James chapter 3 verse 16, it says, For wherever envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. So whenever a person is carrying envy and strife and jealousy, my brothers and sisters, there is no telling, you know, what these individuals are capable of, okay? And it says that right there in the scriptures, every evil work, confusion, what for whatever envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work, James 3, 16. So we definitely have to be uh, weary or not weary, sorry, leery of these type of individuals. Um, there's a um, characteristic, characteristic of rivalry when someone is operating in the spirit of Cain. They want to rival with you. Rivalry. 
murder the person uh with the spirit of Cain definitely um has the characteristic of murder okay they have that ability or capability shall i say they have the capability to murder um a person with the spirit of Cain um would uh stir up wars okay whether that be um widespread wars or universal wars or um international wars or local wars um a person with the spirit of cain would be resentful my brothers and sisters uh resentful selfish you know uh one of the main reasons why god did not accept the offering of cain is because he didn't put much thought into that offering that was pretty much a selfish move um when it came to what cain offered the lord versus what abel offered the lord you know abel gave him the first of his flock which we are to do. It says that in the scriptures, we're to give the first fruit of everything that we get. You know, that's the least we can do for the Lord for all that he does for us. Okay. And, and Cain did not do that. It was, it was kind of selfish of him to offer, um, the, 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 uh, fruit of the ground. Um, someone who carries the spirit of Cain will be cruel. A liar. And um, ultimately, the person who is carrying the spirit of Cain is cursed. Because after uh, Cain decided to not only give God that non-acceptable offering, um, he also decided to slay his brother because he was jealous, because his brother... Uh, his offering was pleasing unto the Lord. And so he went and he murdered his brother and therefore God cursed him. Yes, he cursed him to be a vagabond and a fugitive. And a vagabond, if anybody is wondering, it, that means wanderer. I had to look that up as well. Um, that means a wanderer. So the person with the spirit of Cain um, is also cursed. Okay. Now, how do we combat this spirit? I always like to leave you all with a solution. We don't, I don't just want to bring up the problems, but we need a solution to these problems. Okay. And it's all scriptural based. Well, the first thing is if you think that you, um, you know, may be, harvesting this spirit okay what you want to do is check your emotions and your motives and if you see any of these characteristics especially if you see a lot of them um popping up what what you should do is go ahead and rebuke the rebuke that spirit okay rebuke those things you can rebuke them in yourself uh-uh, I see the spirit of selfishness and envy and jealousy and, and resentfulness in myself. So I re rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. It is not so here. Okay, so this is kind of like a preventative move is what I'm giving you right now. That That's if you can kind of start sensing it in yourself. And then, of course... Bind that spirit up. You can bind it up in yourself or in others. Bind that spirit. The scriptures tell us whatever, whatever is loosed in heaven shall be loosed on earth. And whatever is bound in heaven shall be bound on earth. So you want to bind that spirit up, my brothers and sisters. 
Okay. So yes, um, this concludes um, my video of the spirit of Cain. I hope that this has blessed someone. And if it has, go ahead and hit that like button so it can bless someone else. Uh, or you can hit the share button and share it to someone. With that being said, this is your sister Faya. Until next time.